The first Russian tank storage base is now completely out of tanks as of the latest satellite image that we got from the 9th of December, just two days ago. And that base is the 1295th Central Tank Storage Base in Far Eastern Russia. This will just be a quick video on the base as we're trying to rush through and get them all done and have a final count before the end of the year. So after this video, this Friday or Saturday, we'll have the 103rd, which we already have almost completely finished. Then the week after, the 2544th. And that'll also include the grand total tank count for all Russian storage bases. And again, huge thanks to Jompy and Heimars for their help here. But as for the background of this base, there really isn't much. In fact, this is the only declassified satellite image of it from the Cold War. It's so low quality that you can't even make out the city it's in, let alone the base. But from this declassified CIA cable, the base was under construction in 1970, and by June of that year had 84 visible tanks. It's also on a 1982 map of Soviet armored storage depots, however it's then not included in a 1986 list. That list does mention 12, but then only shows 11, so it's possible it's the one left out for whatever reason. Then there's the big gap in information from declassified Cold War documents in the late 80s to the early 2000s with the rise of the internet and commercial satellite imagery. But the first public image on Google is from 2003. By 2016, it was packed. Well over a thousand vehicles can be seen, mostly BMPs and tanks. And the tanks here tend to be the older T-55s and T-62s. This is also the base where there's a funny video that I've been showing for years. Without sound, it just looks like a few people working on a T-62. Then, all of a sudden, you see somebody playing an accordion. In the past, I tried to edit around it to avoid having to have to explain it. However, in the video, they're singing a song called The Three Tankers, or Tank Men. It's kind of a Russian patriotic song about the crew of a Soviet tank fighting bravely against the Japanese in the late 1930s, and it's sort of become the unofficial anthem of the Soviet and now Russian tank troops. And it is a pretty catchy song, I admit, just not necessarily these guys singing it. But look it up if you're bored, again called The Three Tankers. But as for our total numbers, our pre-war count, there were 324 tanks. The next year, that dropped to 290. Then in June 2023, just 71. And now, zero. To be completely honest, either zero or three. Despite this being the highest resolution image possible, the winter and snow make it really hard to tell. These three here might be tanks. This was an area that tanks were seen in last year, but they're not in the exact same spot. There are also engineering vehicles there, and those use tank hauls. And that's what these five are here. So those three could also be engineering vehicles. Also, the question of garages is always an issue, but the tanks that were parked in front of those garages were parked outside in every single image going back for 20 years. So it seems highly unlikely that they just suddenly decided to move them all inside. Plus, going back to that three tank men video, while it's just a fun video they made, we see them parked outside and brought inside a garage only to do maintenance. Then finally, BMPs and other armored vehicles. Pre-war, there were 399, and now just 27 meaning less than 7% remain. And even those are likely a little more than scrap. They just have a turret, so we're still counting them, playing it safe. You might see these other vehicles and wonder about them. And yeah, again, it's hard to tell, but if we look at them from last year without snow, you can see that they're just empty hulls. So this base is done. The first Russian armored storage base to be emptied.